Welcome to Coding with Kids. My name is Kalia. My name is Andrew. Today we're in Minecraft Education Edition. So right now we're gonna press play and go to the library. So it says view library. So over here, like do coding. And now we're gonna go to out of code and go to out of code escape estate. So it's like a person with chest with a lot of emeralds. So let's create world. Since we didn't create this world, Minecraft created it, we have to like load it to so we can play in it. So it's right now building terrain, so we have to wait a few moments. Loading. Okay. Well, welcome to Hour of Code 2022. Let's start with a short tutorial. To begin, use your device to either left click or press the correct control scheme that best applies to you. So we're gonna use a keyboard and then click the logo to begin. Minecraft presents Escape Estate. Oh, it's like it's like a camera. And there's a person right there. I think it's us. It's, it's a person in this thing. The it's person has a backpack. Blue one. Okay. Well. Okay. Welcome. The following tutorial will teach you the basics of navigating Minecraft. So we're gonna start the tutorial. Contu so when you move our mouse around to look at the orb. So you can use your mouse to move around. To look around. Yeah. Look around. Up there and here. Okay. Press W to move forward. A to move left, W to move forward, D to move right. So we these are the controls to move um, left, right, and forward in Minecraft. Navigate past the wall. You can't jump over the wall. Mm. It's okay, you can move. Press W to move, and then space to jump. Space to jump, okay. Jump. Congrats, you completed the movement tutorial. For more instructions on how to interact with the world, press H to show controls. Okay, so now right click on the button. Right click. Oh, there's a guy. Wow, it's a tall guy. Dr. Berserkies. Okay, right click. Hello, I am Dr. Dodge Berserkies. I see you've re received my invitation. Do you think you have what it takes to escape the mansion by dawn and claim the one million emeralds? Excellent! Now head to the front door to begin your challenge. Let's go! So it's like this game shows where you have to do something and then you get awarded. Yeah. Here in Minecraft you get awarded with um, a lot of emeralds because you can trade um, emeralds. Whoa, what is that? A tongue? <laughs> the, the house just got a huge tongue. It's like a monster. Search room for particles. Like. So there's, there's this thing. Oh, the lost diary. diary. I guess it's a diary. Great click. Trophy, Trophy unlocked. unlocked. Look at that. First note oh. connected. Wow. Cool. Okay, right click to open lost diary. You, you found, found a lost, lost diary. diary. Can you find all 10 missing pages as you explore the mansion? So we're gonna go to the next page. Entry 1, the attic. Dear diary, last week I received an invitation from some mysterious person challenging me to escape this mansion. The note said that if I escape by dawn, I'd win a million emeralds. Wow. Though I don't, I didn't need the emeralds. I thought a challenge like this would make a great video for my channel. Just like how we are doing. Okay. So search room for particles again. Oh, there's something. Oh. Hello? Is someone there? Oh my, a human. Do you think you can help me? I can't seem to open this door vent. Floor vent. I think my code may be broken. Do you think you could take a look and see what's wrong with it? No. <laughs> Great, if you can get me out of here, I will return the flavor and help you escape the attic. Which programming language would you like to use? So there's a blocks and Python. You're gonna use Python, but if you're like a beginner in coding, we recommend you to use blocks. Hey, okay, Python. Okay, first, see that cursor over there on the floor? It needs to move forward three blocks to reach the trapdoor, but it isn't working. Press C to view the code. Okay, so there's this is the cursor. So, and the agent is inside here. We need to open the vent door to let it out. Okay, see. The box with the arrow on the floor is your cursor. So use the cursor to manipulate blocks to solve puzzles throughout this experience. In this activity, you'll use it to open the trapdoor and release the agent. Use move the move cursor function to position the cursor and open trapdoor to open the trapdoor you have selected. 
The move cursor function takes one parameter that defines its direction. That parameter is the color of the arrow that represents the direction you want to move. Valid directions are orange, which is forward. So you can put orange inside the parentheses to make the function uh, to make the cursor move a direction. So this is a code example. Let's see what it does. So it goes move. Oh, okay. Move forwards and then try to open, open. but it doesn't work. Hmm. Okay. No, that's not quite right. The cursor needs to move to the tracker and tell it to open. Okay, so let's go see it to code. So this block doesn't work. So this code doesn't work. So we need to move the cursor so it's positioned above the wooden trapdoor. Okay, so we need to move. So this is wrong. This code is not correct. And then we have to move cursor one more time to reach the trapdoor, like right underneath it, underneath our cursor. Orange. You spelled that wrong. Oopsies. Don't ever spell anything wrong when you're doing coding language or else there will be something wrong with it. Okay, so we need to move cursor three times forward and then open the trap door. So we need to move one, two, three, open. Great. Great, it's open. That's strange. I still can't seem to get out. Can you check the code again and make sure I'm moving up two blocks? Okay. So now we open the trap door, but the agent still needs to get out. Okay. I wonder who trapped it there. Okay. Now that the trap door is open, you'll mo need to move the agent up two blocks to set it free. Use the agent.move function to move the agent up. The agent.move function takes one parameter that defines what direction it should move in. Valid directions are forward, back, left, right, up, and down. So this is a code example. So agent.move up. So it only so moves, moves up, up one, one time. So that doesn't work. So let's try that again. So over here is where we code it. So it moved already one up, but has to move two times. So let's do it. One agent. That do, repeat it so it's two times, then he'll come up. Okay. Uh up. Not anything else but up. Okay. So now the oh. agent has escaped. Thank you. You fixed my coat. Now I'm in range to open the green door for you. The path behind the green door is an easier one. You can take that path or talk to me again if you want to try opening the yellow door. So there are doors here. Oh, I think that's the yellow door. Oh, there's something over here. There's I think a it's a barrier. red. And that that's something. That's our entrance, I guess. Yeah. So now there's a green portal. So in our next video, we're going to go into the green portal. But for now, we're not. It looks very mysterious. Look, that is us. Look at our character. Oh, right. So that first person we saw in the beginning is us. So it's like so mysterious. Oh, okay, let's wait for that video. Well, that was fun, and that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to smash the like button and subscribe. Bye-bye.